Right folks, we're looking at a frog dissection um, and just before we start we're going to have a look at the external structures of what makes up the frog um, and then we are going to look directly inside it and see what makes up the internal structure, primarily the digestive system and also looking at um, the respiratory, the lungs and also the heart as well. So first and foremost what we have is Looking at the top part of the frog, may, may, mainly the head bit, okay, we have the top palate which is quite, quite hard. And we refer this as, as the maxilla, which is, uh, once I uh, open this up, you'll be able to have a look at that in a little bit more, more detail. So we've got the maxilla at the top, um, the jaw uh, to the bottom part of the head is, is, is got a hinge joint. Yeah, and when I cut it, you'll have, be able to have a look at that as well. And then the bottom bit over here, we refer as the mandible. And also just below the mandible, we refer this as the buccal cavity. Okay, so just before we get into the, the vital organs of the frog. Now, it, all different frogs will depend on um, what, what type of specific frog species it is. Now, this one... Um, looks more like a leopard skinned frog because because of the uh, the scale on top and you can see the the skin um, now frogs one thing they do lack is a diaphragm on the inside which uh, is why they have a set of lungs and also part part of their breathing is done via the skin as well okay so uh, we'll uh, first of all have a look at this Now normally when you're doing the dissection, it's, uh, you can either start straight away from the thoracic cavity downwards or uh, you just start from the mouth and it's easier to see the, uh, the internal structure of the mouth first of all before you get into the nitty gritty details of, of this. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, here we go. So you can just just be very careful. Um, the minute you've got straight into the mouth, it's, it's easier rather than cutting straight down the centre is to go where the joint is, just uh, just over about over here. Um, if we were to look at the human body, okay. And we just want to give it uh, an incision, as you can just hear there, and that's gone straight through the hinge joint. Um, and then we do the exact same. On the opposite side as well. Um, one, two, three. There we go. And once we've done the hinge joint, at that point we should be able to get the frog's mouth up, and you can see the tongue directly on the inside of it. Okay. Now, if we look, uh, once we've opened uh, the mouth part section up on the top of the frog, uh, if I just scrape this, you can hear. you can hear a kind of a crackling noise. Now that crackling noise is referred to as the bovine teeth. Uh, they have the teeth at the top. And there are also two kind of small kind of dots on the external surface, which are referred to as the external snars. And on the inside, we have also in, uh, two internal... Just be careful with the tongue there, guy. Okay. You've also got two internal... Uh, dots in the side there as well, and they are referred to as the internal snarls. Okay, and this uh, this is where you get uh, gases coming in, and obviously gases coming out of there as well. Okay, so the mouth bit is what we looked at first. We then just move on before we get into the vital uh, vital organs. If you look at the feet of the frog, it's got a webbed five finger one two, three, four, five, with webs in between, which helps them. Uh, the adaptation is to allow them to, to obviously swim. And these are sometimes referred to as the five finger digits. And then we move up onto the fingers uh, and they have one, two, three, four. And these four are referred to as the four finger digits. Okay. Um, 
Now, a lot of uh, muscle uh, in the back legs over here, as you can see, they're quite thick in comparison to the arms here. Now, the muscles are, are quite thick because they, have a, they are referred to as fast twitch muscles, uh, which aid in uh, allowing the frog to leap and give it big jumps from place to place.